This is Dave Farrell here with Chad Kinney. We're going to talk a little bit about offshore trolling and our, what our favorite lures are. And we were talking earlier about uh, if we had one favorite lure to troll offshore, what would it be? And yours? We take two islanders what we do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Island lures. And island lures are made by Tournament Tackle. Uh, a long time ago, a fella invented the island lure mainly because he was tired of fishing with bait. Believe it or not, and we all put baits in them. We always stuff a ballyhoo up their skirt. Yep. When the guy who invented them, he invented them because he was tired of using bait. But now we all put baits in them, which, you know, they have this hair, a really nice hair, uh, nylon hair as a skirt, which is really good for hook sets because the fish go right through it. And yep. uh, that's one of the good things about them. But what do you like about them? The well, great thing is they pull really good and you can catch everything from, I'm sure you've done it too, from blue marlin, white marlin, sailfish, mm -hmm. dorado, everything, tuna. Yeah, um, you can do everything. You got a whole wide range of sizes, especially. Yeah, that's some, one of my favorites right got there. The, the sea jet, star. Yeah, so you got the jet head here, which will actually let some water and air penetrate through there to make the bubble mm -hmm. trail. Quite I've got a, a lot of wahoo there. on that on the short. It's, it's actually, excellent. real and close Dorado, to the boat. I've got a bunch of draw on this stuff. I love mm -hmm. it too. Get, great thing about these, if the guy's saying he made them because he didn't, he was tired of using bait. Like you said, we, I, I probably eighty percent of the time, especially for marlin fishing, I'm gonna have a. a Ballyhoo on there. Correct. We so always put ballyhoo. The in great thing too. about using that versus a naked ballyhoo or a chin weight ballyhoo or anything else like that is they're not going to wash out nearly as fast when right. you're using these. These so. these heads protect it and protect the the uh, ballyhoo from all kinds of stuff from this bad surf and everything else. And it actually uh, it, it makes them a little bit weedless. This boat face, you know, you still you'll still get weeded up. But any time that you have a, a cone faced lure, it's going to slip through weeds a little bit better than any of the yeah, others. Yeah, if you're in that scattered sorghum, scattered grass, it's going to pull a lot cleaner and, mm -hmm. instead of that. And they do pull straight because yeah. it's like a boat hull. You know, it's almost uh, it's almost like a dish rag back there. They really don't swim that much. If you get them to pop, you know, you got to if you get fast enough, you can get them to pop. But otherwise, they're really easy for the fish that's chasing them to catch. The good thing is another good is, thing about it. Yeah, another good thing you see here. Dave's got this rig with wire, mm -hmm. so you can the wire for the wahoo, anything else like that. You get the uh, you go to mono, which would be great for any of your dorado. You go to heavier mono for your billfish. Mm -hmm. So you basically the biggest what, biggest dorado I ever caught was on a island lure and a ballyhoo combination on a number 10 wire, believe it or not, because we have to pull wire all the time because of all the barracudas and wahoos, wahoos and king else. mackerel. And you don't, you don't want to lose a, Correct. don't get broke off, especially if you're only allowed two on the boat. Correct. But, but uh, no, they are, they're definitely the uh, most, I got more confidence in these lures than anything else. And that's why if I did have a choice, I would definitely pull some of these. When others. I was 12 years old, I walked into the BX on base and they had a little, these little dudes right here on the counter in the little tube. You know they sell these yep. in little tubes, and uh, I bought one. And I've never been, never been offshore at that time. I didn't even know what it was for, but it just looked so cool. I said I had to have it, so I, I got my dad to pay 12 bucks or whatever it was back then for one of these. And I never even pulled it because I thought maybe you could catch a trout on it or something. But I was a little they, kid. They they work. They're perfect. They they work great. Get you uh, some LNS lures now. Is what they're made from the island lures. Island lures. Yep. yep. If you want to see any more cool tips like this from people like Chad and myself, get on the Captain Rick Murphy's YouTube and subscribe there and you'll see all these things forever and ever. They never go away.